Hello and welcome to DPV Health's Community Advisory Network induction video. Before we begin, we would like to take a moment in acknowledging the traditional custodians of the lands, skies and waterways on which we do our business today. DPV Health acknowledges the Kulin Nations as the traditional owners of the lands on which our DPV sites are located on. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging with gratitude and with respect. We hope that you reap the benefits of being part of DPV Health's Community Advisory Program. There are many ways you can contribute to DPV Health and our community. We encourage you to take on new opportunities that you are comfortable with and happy to do, but don't overcommit. Start with one day and see how you feel. We hope you learn new skills and new things and get to participate in important discussions that influence our decision making. Remember, your voice matters. Importantly, we hope you also make new friends and enjoy being part of the Community Advisory Network. We thank you for being part of our program. A little bit about DPB Health. We are a non-for-profit organisation that offers exceptional healthcare services to people of all ages. We are the largest community health provider in Melbourne's north, operating across five local government areas, including Whittlesea, Hume, Metro, Melton and Banyal. As one of Victoria's largest and most comprehensive community health organisations, DPV Health is supported by approximately 750 employees, 50 volunteers and around 75 community advisors. We offer an extensive range of medical, dental, allied health, paediatric, disability, mental health and programs to support vulnerable people. We are an inclusive, kind and innovative organisation with five underpinning values. Our values make every day better and allows us to deliver extraordinary services to our community every time. Our vision is to ensure the health and well-being of our community. Our community is very diverse in a range of different ways, including culture, socioeconomic status, educational attainment and religious beliefs. This means that the people we meet and the people we work with can be very different from us, and that is okay. DPV Health has services for everyone, including older people, people with disability, culturally and linguistically diverse communities, people who identify as LGBTIQ+, and people who are socially isolated or at risk of social isolation. We welcome and embrace all aspects of human diversity in our planning and delivery of services. We believe in creating an equal and more respectful world by making space and standing with people no matter their background. You can find these safe space stickers at all DPV Health sites. At DPV Health, we have an inclusion strategy. This strategy was presented in the 2019 to 2020 DPV Health Annual Report and was a critical part of the evidence for DPV Health's successful rainbow tick accreditation. This strategy was developed with our community and has had an impact on the whole organisation. It has been used by many departments in our organisation to help guide planning and development of new policies, procedures and plans. The strategy also helps with future plans and helps guide DPV Health to provide inclusive services to our very diverse community to improve health, wellbeing and participation. The first stage of the inclusion strategy focuses on five priority groups, culturally and linguistically diverse people, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, LGBTIQ plus community members, people with a disability and women. DPV Health also has a community engagement and participation framework, which is commonly referred to as the TOGETHER framework. This framework outlines the way DPV Health will seek, empower, engage and respond to the voices and diverse needs of our community. Our framework is guided by our values of inclusion, 
integrity, excellence, and collaboration. This framework was developed with people from our community, networks, partners, and clients for our community. This process is known as co-production. Co-production is important in ensuring we are working with the strengths of our community and is important that, where possible, we include the voices of our professionals and those with lived experiences to support the decisions we make. This diagram shows the five stages of co-production. Through the Community Advisory Program, you may be involved in any or all of these stages in supporting the work DPV Health do. You can be involved with the planning and designing of a program, participate in events or present to our community. You may be involved with the evaluation of a program by completing a survey or focus group or sharing a survey with your networks. You may also be a part of the important decisions we make at DPV Health and what our priorities are. DPV Health confidentially collects information on clients, including sexual orientation, gender identity, or intersex variations. As a community advisor at DPV Health, you must keep all demographic data and disclosures confidential which means you are not allowed to share private and or personal details of someone else. DPV Health relies on data about our communities to inform how to best fund programs and services. Names and private details are never collected or provided in reports. We all have a duty of care to protect ourselves and others from harm. To fulfil duty of care, Ask yourself, am I acting in a way that aims to prevent harm to the client? Have I reported situations where people are at risk? The TOGETHER framework requires everyone across the organisation to play their role to enable clients and community to access and easily participate in feedback channels. We care about you and your experiences. Your feedback can lead to great improvements in the services we provide at DPV Health. So we strongly encourage you to talk privately to the DPV Health Community Engagement Officer if there are any issues. All matters and compliments should be treated seriously, promptly and privately. If you have any suggestions, compliments, complaints or feedback, you can talk to the Community Engagement Officer either face-to-face, -face, by telephone, or by email, by using the DPV Health Public Online Feedback Portal, or in a feedback form.